Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to the old, you know, bicentennial barn. And today, what the hell are we doing today? Oh, yes, we're moving the cupolas around. Yeah, we're gonna use straps. It's a quad strap. I need a way to mount the strap to the base, so I'm gonna use eye bolts. That's what I'm gonna do first here. So we got a crane coming in a couple days. What I need is a minimum viable product to be able to mount these things on the roof when the crane shows up. So pick up the bases, pick up the tops, mount the tops and the bottoms is kind of what we have to figure out. And we have to figure out quick because that crane's coming and it's 168 bucks an hour. So I want to be really good at this when it shows up. Okay, that was not too bad. So, there's nowhere to put eye bolts on the tops though. What I came up with amounts to building a cradle out of a bunch of two by sixes, and then we'll have four points where we can attach the strap to the crane and pick these things up. I put the screws in the wrong side. The bolts are in the way. So the structural engineer had me do a calculation of how much these things weigh and I came up with the bases are 300 pounds and the tops are about 600 pounds based on how much wood, fasteners, whatever, and the tops are much more awkward. So we're a little worried about this. We, we assume three 2x6s on each side is going to hold them, but there's only one way to find out. So this is the first time we're testing out this whole system and the strap and the cradle to pick them up. Okay, that's a relief. So we can pick these suckers up now. We actually toned down the design and made it easier to build three more of them. And we're gonna do something similar later to get the old cupolas off the roof. But first, we need to seal up these holes with, with a makeshift window before we go any further. So the first window layer is greenhouse polycarbonate. We use this because it's got a good insulation value. And we build an extra little nailer out of cedar that we can then attach the polycarbonate to. And we'll have a watertight window, at least temporary, when these things go on the roof. We get it all sealed in tight with the zip system tape. Then the next job is to make some structural connections for installing the cupolas. So it's like literally a hundred times cheaper if you buy this steel angle in 20 foot sections instead of having them cut it for you and drill it for you. So it was cheaper to just buy a drill press and we're using this oil so we can get a titanium bit and just drill right through it in the bolt pattern that we want. This nice clean holes. level of precaution to ensure that these cupolas don't one day go sailing onto I-70 in a high wind. We're putting these extra brackets on that will kindly drill the holes through very painstakingly with the new drill press. Yeah, I don't think these can possibly break. We're putting these 3 8 inch hex head lags through these guys so this will penetrate all the way through the 2 by member. I, I see no possible way that these are getting ripped off. They, they would have to shear off like, you know, 16 of these at the same time or rip the bracket clean off. So yeah, extra level of precaution. I don't know why they can't get the board square at the mill, but they don't for whatever reason. So 
So what I'm doing now is applying the extra layer which is going to sit on top of those mounting brackets and allow the top of the cupola to sit on the bottom of the cupola. So basically we're going to bolt all the way through the bottom of the top of the cupola down through the mounting bracket that's stuck to the bottom of the cupola and that will hold the top on. So yep, moment of truth, here we go.